what I'm about to tell you is true at some of the hospitals over in China. They have machines where if they need to extract a semen sample from their male patients, they can do that with efficiency with an advanced design. Guys, we need to come up with something better. We have the most brilliant minds in the medical industry right here. We can come up with something better. AI is happening. What features can we make in our machines that make it 10 times better than what they have over there? Uh, maybe hair, you know, <laughs> I'm not, you know, if people want to, you know, pull it or punch it or whatever. <laughs> Uh, yes, yes, doctor. Can we take two machines and uh, mm -hmm. put them side by side where one person will be donating on this side uh -huh. and the other person will be donating on this side? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's like a seesaw situation. And then I can look at him mm -hmm. while he looks at me and I donate aggressively. Okay, do you want to demonstrate maybe by the window? You guys face each other and we'll... Oh, yeah, we can. It's a wonderful yeah, idea. Just, yeah. yeah, that way. Okay. So... So, so ma machine here. Facing right you. Here, machine here, uh -huh. yeah, and I'm... And, you're and you're currently can, inserted into this machine facing you. I'm, I'm in the machine, yes. And then you, same and thing for you? I'm inserted into my machine, yeah. Okay, all right, so they're facing that way, yeah. And then and maybe then, a glass partition in between. Oh, well, maybe, yeah. No, see, I like this. Touch my yeah. shoulder. Yeah. And then I'm touching your shoulder, and we're both donating at the same time. <laughs> Hard uh -huh. donations. It's, yeah. it's more efficient because you, you have two holes on each side in one machine. Or a dumpster. It could be a dumpster of sorts. Okay. So mm -hmm. <laughs> Come dumpster. I, I see what we're getting at. Okay, let's... Okay, so some categories... Efficiency, cosmetic, uh, mental stimulation. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mental, anal, <laughs> anus. Yeah, we said it. You gotta write it down. All right, he said it. I have to write it down. Okay. <laughs> or you just don't want to forget it. All right. Um, some people, some people are really into into pubes. <laughs> Okay, so cosmetic. Okay, we'll put that under. Yeah. Just draw Just draw them. So you guys were just talking about efficiency, having the double holes from either side. Mm -hmm. Or more. Multiple holes. We'll put. Okay, any other suggestions for efficiency? Speed of the suck. Okay, yes. A variable, a variable speed. And also, we should think about these are battery powered the machines might go down at some point and we don't want to get out of business you know so i think maybe we should make it big enough for someone to actually like get in there in case and close the door behind them <laughs> in case you know the the battery's out and then they're, they're in there they're just like you know going crazy okay so a human walks up to the machine and what there's actually a person inside that you can't see they still, they still think it's the machine. <laughs> oh, okay. And I think the best way to see if this is viable is have a person inside executing all the motions, and then if we, if it works out and people like it, then we take, then we put a battery in there. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. I think it's a great idea. Well, but a human's probably more. Would it be more cost effective? Well, he, oh, now now we can't, we can't pay anybody or else it, that's illegal. So they have to be willing to do it for free. <laughs> we, can, we can tell them we can pay them with experience and exposure. Uh, they, can, mm -hmm. they can use this for their Instagram. This, this is a good loop. This is a good suck hole loophole we have. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Why try and reinvent the, the wheel? Batteries are skyrocketing. Can we use a human and just say it's a robot? Yeah. And with machines today, every single service and machine, they always ask if you want to leave a tip. And they'll probably be like, you know what? I've had plenty of tips today. <laughs> Don't need any more coming in. Um, but you, there will be an option to tip, and that person can collect tips. But there is no payment. It is just a tip for service. So the people that are using the machine will think it's just a machine, not a human. But they're still going to be asked if they want to leave a tip. Correct. 
How good was hmm. the suck today? Was the jerk well? Was it tight? Was it loose? Which, you know, you got to be able to plug in all these settings, how people like it. Some people like it loose. Some people like uh, shallow, deep. Some people like thorny. Some people like, you know, a mystery in there. Is it a mystery <laughs> box, maybe? Maybe something's sharp in there. People like sharp stuff. A uh, question about... Mm -hmm. The collection, uh, we're trying to keep this cost effective. Uh, yes. Yeah. The little cups that the dentist gives you. Dixie cup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We put those in there and then the person just spits it <laughs> into the cup. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Those things. Yeah. The Dixie cups. Yep. The little one. Yep. And then you dump that into the bin or the depository or where we're keeping it. Can we have one of those tubes from the bank where we put the deposit and then we're sending semen everywhere through the building? That would be... Okay, you want, you want us to build a maze of semen tubes in the hospital where we can shove them around and have them... Yeah, okay. Because we don't want to go and spill it. We put it, we encapsulate it, we hit the button and it gets sucked to various places wherever in the hospital that's needed. Everyone needs semen. We know that. We need these to be pure. Mm -hmm. So maybe you put a Ziploc bag, and we don't actually get like a name brand. Like we get a store brand Ziploc bag. Mm -hmm. The collector and just stuffs that in their mouth, and then they start taking the sample. <laughs> and then the sample like just goes straight into the bag, and then they just oh, oh, zip it up, and then pull it out, and then just fling it into the collection thing. I feel pretty good about what's going on here. We can give those little bags a, a, you know, a quick spin before we sling it into the... Oh, yeah. A spin and a tuck under, and you let the weight of the load hold that bag <sighs> closed. Let's think about the user experience, right? We know that there's a human inside. The user doesn't. They look at one of these boring robots and say, how could I get off in this, right? How boring. How do we make this more exciting on the outside? Yes. We let the person inside talk. <laughs> you make a little window on the front of the machine. It's just a, and it looks like an iPad screen or something, but it's, it's just the person's face behind it, so it looks like it's a... It's literally just a window. <laughs> yeah, it's just a window. Okay. And these people are like, oh, wow, look at these lifelike, you know... Graphics, yeah. Graphics, animatronics or whatever. I also think the, these these machines can be dressed up like a Mr. Potato Head situation. Like mm. we have a large a large bin where you can take different wigs on and you can put mm -hmm. abs on it or whatever. Okay. Hooves if you want hooves on the bottom <laughs> of it. You know, whatever you're... You want to have accessories like a Mr. Potato Head that we can shove onto the machines, mm -hmm. including hooves if we need to. I mean, you know, I'm just speaking, you know, this is all coming off the top of my head, not my, not what I'm, I mean, I'm not, you know, you guys know me pretty good. Anus. Don't forget, we said we'd never forget the anus. You want an option to, like, turn the machine around 180 degrees and... I would also like a, maybe, maybe we can, ourselves, we can turn ourselves around 180 degrees. Mm. If, you know, again, we spin, spin that suck, there's an Audi on the other end. You know, sometimes we all need help getting to where we want to go in life. <laughs> and that's through the ass sometimes. Okay. Our competitors have dials where the user can adjust different dials for speed, pressure. That is extremely easy fix. Uh, we just, we have a little sign to say this robot is voice activated. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, tell it what you want. Mm. This this AI computer is voice activated. Voice activated. Okay. You know, they're gonna have to be very skillful because if you if we do have multiple people in one machine and everyone's talking over each other, <laughs> you know they're gonna have to like you know get a good grip over here, slap around over here, get a foot up, maybe kick it on this side. I mean it's gonna be mayhem in there. They're gonna have to be very skilled. We're gonna have to interview a lot of people. You imagine everyone in the same room in multiple machines lined up? No, it's it's all one machine, and okay. they're very cl they're very close in proximity. So you have oh, one machine, okay. and then with you know the four to five suckings happening around it, mm -hmm. and then the person inside is going to have to be very talented because all four people are going to be talking over each other 
on, oh, I want this one cold. I need this one Lucy. I need this one to feel like I'm getting kicked. And then the person's going to have to, it's going to be like playing the drums and also driving a stick shift at the same time. <laughs> so a machine where multiple people are lined up right next to each other. Still one person inside. Uh, around in a circle, so you, you, you don't, the, the cost of the machine, we don't have to widen it. It's just a cylinder, and okay. then one, two, three, four. You just get them, you get the person inside one of those little, like, drummer stools, and they just sit on that and swivel around. And <laughs> <laughs> Okay, while holding when? a Ziploc bag. <laughs> and we say, this, this machine is so advanced with AI, it... It will figure you out. And meanwhile, it's just the person in there doing their best, sucking dick as good as they can. And like, and if the, if the donor doesn't come, that's on them. We just blame them and say, "Oh, you got a bad dick or whatever." Like, you <laughs> are these official terms, doctor? Yeah, they're all in the DSM five. This is. Yeah, we need to do more bullying. We need to bully the customer and to call him a, a limp dick, pansy, bullshit, piss artist. <laughs> and then, you know, and they feel bad about themselves and then they need to pop a couple pillies. Yeah. It is so important for you to hit the like button and subscribe and to comment and share. Please share. You don't want anyone to think you're crazy. You definitely want to share this video. Because it helps us. Let's go back to this. Um, some more ideas about Mr. Potato Head. The user walks up to a machine. What would you like to see? What would make it fun for you? Circus clowns. What, say what? I think I heard somebody say circus clowns. We're, eh, eh, we're all spitballing here. Could have been anyone. Oh, speaking of spitballing, let's get two machines and put them up together and they can just push the loads back and forth to each other. Okay, yeah, yeah, get it, get it uh, moving so that it doesn't- You don't want to coagulate. Mm -hmm. You don't want it to coagulate, yeah. But that, that machine is in the room with other people that are donating so they can watch that machine do that, right? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, hey, what if, we can go down to the Dollar Tree and get a bunch of those, you remember those woolly willies? It was the face in a piece of plastic and it had like all the metal shavings in there and the little <laughs> magnet yeah. pencil. Yeah. Uh -huh. We We let them do it. Like we don't. You just draw whatever kind of face on here you want with the woolly willy, and then you just you blast all over it, and you know we somebody at the end of the day wipes it down. Okay, so the user will walk up, they'll draw a face of their choosing on the pad in front of them using magnets and shavings. Mm. I mean, I'm I'm rock hard right now. <laughs> all right, well let's talk about mental here. Mental, mental's a good topic here how do we get get the user in the mood mm. to do that you know if they're coming into an appointment and they're not feeling well because they got to go to the hospital we want them to feel like giving a sample i think we mm. should have a, a a chair in the corner of the room have another okay. doll sit there watching them and the face you can replace with like, you know, um, family members or whatever <laughs> for support. People love support from their families. <laughs> okay. Right. It'll just have the it was zoomed in on the face. So it looks like that is the, you know, the uncle sitting in the room watching <laughs> them going, you got this, you can do it. And maybe we put some pom poms in the hands or something. I was going to say an, an, another accessory box, just like the potato head uh, with like flags, like number one son, uh, <laughs> where you can put those in their hands. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Thank you. Hi. Yes. We have their medical info. We call their emergency contact. Okay. We get them on speakerphone in the room, but only the contacts half of the conversation. And then somebody else from the hospital, they're asking the emergency contact things like, have you seen, uh, give me, it was a terrible movie. Um, Coneheads? I disagree. 
But anyway, you say, have you seen have you seen this terrible movie? And they don't hear us ask that. They only hear their their contact, their family members' voice say, that's the dumbest piece of shit I've ever seen. And they're like, oh, are they talking about my little c***? <laughs> mm. And we keep asking them leading questions, so they think that their family member is watching them. All right, so if I'm hearing you right, we're getting the emergency contact to say things that will stimulate the patient without the contact knowing exactly what's happening. Until the very end <laughs> right. when we put them on FaceTime and show them what their family member is doing. Okay. And I think maybe we could also make it a TV show where the family's been watching them the whole time and it's a oh. big prank and then we bring mm -hmm. the family out after it's all done. <laughs> Everyone loves a prank. Everyone loves a prank show. We could call it Impractical Strokers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does the person, I, I got a question about the show, does the person in the box come out? <laughs> I think so. Uh, yeah, I think it's an all big surprise. Confetti comes down, and the, you know the person is just like ah, dangling the the sample in front of them, and they shove it up in the tube. It goes somewhere, and you know, really just really a big gag. You they know. step out with on their you know they crawl out on their hands and knees and slowly stand up and they go surprise <laughs> with a mouthful. Mm. We'll pitch it to Netflix maybe as a as a show. They don't I don't know if they have a prank show, but if not, we can always put any type of shit on YouTube. That's the mm -hmm. brilliance of it. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> okay, so we've got a box. We've got a box. It's got plugs to put accessories in. The person inside is sitting on a drummer stool so they can spin around in 360, servicing multiple patients at once. We've got a phone call system so that your emergency contact will be tricked into saying things that'll get the patient off. Mm -hmm. And at the end, we say, surprise, you've been on impractical strokers. The person comes out of the box and the family comes out and greets them in the room. Mm -hmm. And you guys, you guys think this is a good idea? This is gonna be China. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. I would leave a tip. You would leave a tip. <laughs> yeah, after my family came out and the person, you know, crawled out of the box and then it asked me, hey, would you like to leave a tip? I would be, I'd be giggling to myself, at myself, crying. Every collection room, there is a dresser. You can just throw a 20 on there on your way out. <laughs> yeah, I got one, one, less, one last idea. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, but what if we cut the bottom of the box out okay so that if you know you tried to activate the voice activation and uh wanted wanted your collection machine to piss on the floor look if a person is having trouble giving a sample by themselves the machine has to help them we need we need to accommodate and try to help we're, we're trying to help these people blow it out you know that's what we need but we're very accommodating to, yeah accommodating. To, your, to your point i think you know if, if one but sometimes people get triggered or like said so they'll like they see someone get all the piss and they're like well i want piss too so we need that whoever's in the box needs to have like a little camel backpack on and just constantly be drinking water the whole time because we don't want to let them know it's a person in there so we need to have enough piss for everyone mm-hmm so I'm, I'm guessing, I'm guessing based on your idea that the person inside that's been ducking the whole time just stands up and the feet are exposed at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Oh, and like lifts the machine? Yeah, yeah, just lifts the machine up with their shoulders. And mm -hmm. It's like a Flintstone situation. You just <laughs> yeah. see the feet going, walking around. Ding, ling, 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 yeah, ling, ling. A, <laughs> the machine can move. Maybe like a, just a lever inside where you pull it. And it's attached to a lever on the outside, and it's just got a high heel shoe on the end that kicks him in the dick. Mm. <laughs> it's like a, I like that. It's like the, the boxing glove on the spring, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. by the shoe. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> we didn't talk about the pubes. Oh, the pubes. Yeah. Do you want like a Is little that part of the little... Mr. Potato Head thing, or? Yeah. Either you know we use the magnetic pencil, or is there maybe a tray that you can pull out on the side where you can just grab a handful and, and stuff it wherever you want. <laughs> I, got, mm -hmm. I, got, I got a pretty cheap idea for us. Oh, yeah? You know those glue traps for bugs? Yes, yes, yeah, like the fly tape. Yeah, real sticky stuff. You put those around the donation hole 
and then you know the first guy with a big proud bush comes up and puts it all the way in it grabs onto his pubes and when he backs up it just rips them out so then you got free pubes <laughs> yeah that's a, that's a good i'm so i'm tired of paying for pubes and <laughs> that's a that's an easy way to get them for free mm-hmm. and we have to tell them the bad yeah. <laughs> we have to tell them you're, you're bad your whole whatever you got going on childhood trauma there's a lot of reasons why you can't bust one in here and it's your your problem yeah 